hello to Melody Hair Colors. Let's get into the tips on how I take care and treat my color hair. All right, I'll give you a brief, brief history on color in my hair. I started in 2015. The shampoo and conditioner I started off with was um, Tresemme Vibrant Color. That does not work in my hair. That lasts, the bottle said four to eight weeks, it does strip out. And I would think I was washing it in warm to hot water at that time. That is a no-no. Keynote, no hot water. I'll get more into that. I use, I love using Herbal Lessons. That works as well. Another key note and tip, make sure your shampoo and conditioner, whatever you're using, is salt bay free. So, as for that, you can always go to Sally's Beauty, not, uh, not sponsored by them. They can give you advice or advice about on what shampoo products they have in there. All We all have different hair styles, techniques and stuff and if you guys use heat products they can help you with that as well all right so bring you up to speed with the rest of the stuff with my routine i got this last year i had my hair dye july 25th of 2019 so it's in march be the ninth month and I will show you guys the up uh, how it looks when that when I get my hair done on the eleventh. So here's the Ion, not sponsored by Ion. This is the shampoo. I have another bottle of this in the closet and the sealant as well. So this bottle is full, so I am good on that. Now I will be getting into hair washing videos on this. The first week I'll be just using cold water. I'm right, taking that from another YouTuber. I just can't remember her name. And I'm gonna wash it just in cold water. Yes, the color will bleed and fade. Now, the reason why you do not want to use hot water in your hair, the pores and cuticles in your hair will expand and re uh, release the color and you will get a big bleed of all that color coming out of your hair. So stick to cold water. Yes, the color will bleed a little bit that is natural it does stay from time from like week to week now if your person if you wash your hair once a week and you need something in between get a dry shampoo like a powder dry shampoo and put that in your hair if you need that i don't use that this is color treat it with heat all right so moving on from that i will show you what i do i just only wash the roots and that's it and ladder it up okay in the meantime as i'm in the shower i do use my shower cap put my hair up in the scrunchie put that on as i'm taking a shower so no water touches my hair of course, I be using the yellow towel, as always, a towel. Okay, another tip with, if you're gonna spend a day outside, if you're going to the beach, or going somewhere nice, or to a ball game, or somewhere you like, make sure you find a hat, maybe like a lighter hat, and just put it on top of your hat head like that and pull your hair back because when the sun hits it 
it can end up fading as well. So hat will come in handy. Or you can take your scrunchie and just put up your hair however you want. And make sure you wear that as bed. One more note with the hair washing with the towel. Do not squeeze your hair color. Just let your hair be soaked and wet. Then put the towel around it. If you have a towel that you don't care about because the deposit of hair color will get on the towel when it's drying. That's why you don't want to squeeze your hair. Hold on guys. You do not want to squeeze your hair because it will get all on the towel just dry naturally. Now if you have a white shirt, any light color clothing, like my Philly jersey, remember that color is going to end up on the rim. If you're wearing a nice white shirt or light color shirt like this, Yes, the hair dye deposit will get on your stuff. Like that, if you're using a pillowcase that is white and you don't want hair color show up on your pillowcase, make sure you use a darker color because when you're sleeping, the deposit gets on there as well. So I've been doing my hair and braid, so what I'm going to do is braid up my hair still and I am just going to take it up into a bun type and just go to sleep like that. And I noticed that works a little bit because it does not fade as much and that's what I do and that's my routine. So I hope you guys can learn something from the tips on how I keep my hair less than longer. You will see the process in the future after March 11th and I will do weekly updates on my hair when it gets warmer. I'll be outside doing it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, loved this video. I hope you guys got some knowledge out of this video. So I will see you guys all in the next one. See you all in the future. Bye for now. Love you all. Hit that subscribe, like, ring the bell, all notification comments. You know what to do. You're all welcome here. Love you all. Bye for now.